Good day! In this video, we are going to try to do question 2A of the 2022 NCA Level 3 Statistics Paper Probability Distribution. This is the question on Poisson Distribution and without further ado, let's try to solve this. Management of the retail company have set sales target of customer purchasing at least 4 items of clothing per 20 minutes in the store. Suppose that the number of items purchased by this company's customer per 20 minutes in the store can be modeled by a Poisson distribution with lambda, lambda or the mean equal to 2.8. Use this Poisson model to calculate an estimate of the probability that in any 20 minutes interval, a customer purchased less than 4 items of clothing. Okay, so this is the straightforward uh, question. If you can get it right, you get an achievement in this paper. So we are going, as I said, going to pose on distribution. Lambda is 2.8. Lambda is the mean, okay? The, the lambda is 2.8. Or in the calculator, you have to convert lambda to new, okay? So the question asks you, what is the probability that they are, uh, the probability that in any 20 minutes interval, a customer purchase less than four items. So we're looking at zero, one, two, three. So this is straightforward. So you can use the BCD. BCD, the C stands for cumulative. So accumulate from zero to wherever you stop. So in this case, it stop at three. So we're going to put X equals to three. So to calculate the probability, we just put in a calculator, go to statistics, then go to distribution. And now because it's Poisson, there's no Poisson there, you go in Click F6, there's more button for uh, more distribution. You just press F6, they give more of them. And Poison is now F1. Okay, can you press F1? Okay, now you have BPPD or PCD. As I said before, you have to use PCD because it's accumulative from zero to what's your error number. So we're going to press the PCD button. And now again, as usual, we need to go to variance, variable, sorry. F2, press F2. It, Okay, so now we're in variable, we are going to key in the number now. X is where you're going to stop, so 0 to 3, so we're going to stop at 3, so press the 3 button, press the execute button, and new is your lambda, okay? New is the mean, is lambda, so you're going to put 2.8, execute, and the last thing you need to do, you need to execute one more time, and the answer is 0 0.6919, and that will give you an achievement. Okay, great. Now we are going to get the calculator out for a while because the next question doesn't require the calculator. So we shall do part two of the same question. Okay, I just adjust the paper wall. Yep. The, the part two question provide two reasons, okay, why the use of Poisson distribution may not be appropriate to model the situation. Okay, so now we shall, there are many reasons, there are four reasons actually, but we're going to answer two because the question asks for two. Okay, we are going to assume independence. The occurrence of an item purchase does not affect the probability of further item being purchased in the two, 20 minutes interval. But in our case, it's not true because if the two friends shop together, one friend where that's purchasing an item may influence the other friend to purchase the same item too. So that is why that is not independent at all. So that is the first criteria. The second one, assume that the average which, uh, which the item are purchased is constant. Again, this is not true. The reason is that the purchase time in our case is not true because at, at all times of the year. Because some years, for example, the Black Friday sales or we have the Christmas Day or Boxing Day sale, the, the purchase of the item will be more than the usual time. So that is the two reasons. If you can answer them, that is an excellence in this question. So we'll do question part three and we need to do a bit of calculation for part three. Okay, so part three, we shall read the question and I'll bring back the calculator in play now. Okay, so let's read the question. Okay, so... What would be the value of lambda that need, uh, sorry, what would be the value of lambda or the mean need to be so that under a Poisson model, at least 99% of this customer, company's customer purchased at least one item of clothing in a 20 minute interval. So this is inverse Poisson, okay? So we shall try to solve the inverse Poisson. So what they say is that, uh, at least one item, so x1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until as 
uh, n is going to be 0 0.99 percent or 0 0.99 okay so to calculate probability of zero mean no item is purchased okay is going to be 1 minus 0 0.99 is going to be 0 0.01. So no purchase is going to be 0 0.01. If you know the formula for Poisson, it's E minus lambda, lambda x over x factorial. Okay, so if x equal to 0, you replace the x with 0. This part becomes 0 and 0 factorial, it becomes 0 factorial. So you put your calculator, lambda power 0 or lambda power 0 is always equal to 1. So this will cancel out. 0 factorial is also going to 1. So probability of x equal to 0 is going to be, this will be, becomes 1, that also becomes 1, and you only left with e minus lambda, okay? So, if you combine these two formula, okay, e minus lambda, okay, e minus lambda is going to be equal to 0 0.01. So, now, we need to find the value of lambda by using some calculation. If you are doing statistics, calculus, I mean, you can use by long both sides and solving. But most of you are not doing calculus, I mean, so we are going to use the graphic calculator. So we are going to set that calculation in our calculator. So we go to menu, okay? This time, we are going to equation, EQUA. Hopefully you can find that. Press the equation button. And now we're going to solve it. So to solve it, you're going to press F3, solver. So you press the F3 button. Okay, so we are going to put that equation into our calculator. So we are going to just going to put E. If you can find E in the, uh, above of LN, there's an E button. So you have to press the shift E. So you got an E, okay? And then the power comes up. So because E is the power of the number, so instead of lambda, you're going to put x because there's no lambda in the calculator. So the x is found below the red button. So press the x button, okay? And then you must put equal. So shift dot, and then we're going to put more 01. Press the execute button. Again, one more time, solve F6. And the answer, so lambda is going to be 4.61 or 605. And that will give you the answer for this question. So lambda is going to be 4.61. And if you can get it right, that's a merit in this paper. So it's not too bad actually. So if you keep on doing this, you should be able to get a merit or even an excellence in this paper. Cheers everyone and have a good day.